Well, hello. We're calling this uh, little mini-series of devotions uh, Weekly Worship. We've been going through Weekly Wisdom, going through the book of Proverbs, but this one specifically, we're looking at the Christmas season and the coming of Jesus. And so I invite you to listen to these words from Matthew chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This is a quotation of a passage from the prophet Isaiah, and Isaiah prophesied in 740 BC he was called to be a prophet. So sometime around seven and a half centuries later, Jesus comes, and we find out that his name is Emmanuel. He's the fulfillment of that prophecy, and he is the God who is with us. And and so really, Christmas is about proximity. When you understand the heartbeat of Christmas, it's understanding the proximity that God is with you. You say, when? All the time. Where? Anywhere you go. What if I don't want God with me? He's there anyways. The reality is that God exists with us. He came among us to be with us. And so so here's just a few thoughts about this specific passage. The prophets predicted the coming, the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. This was prophesied. That the, the Messiah would come and his name would be Emmanuel. Not just, not just a, a great person, but actually God, the divine one, walking among us. We understand that Jesus came in a unique and a miraculous way. He was born of a virgin. In the ancient world, completely unheard of. In our world today, with all kinds of scientific stuff, uh, different things are going on. But you have to understand that, that over 2,000 years ago, for a virgin to conceive, having never been with a man, It wasn't a thing. It didn't happen. And yet the Holy Spirit did this unique work to bring God the Son into the world. And then the meaning of his name. His name will be Emmanuel, God with us. Think of it this way. Jesus is God with me, with you, with us personally. He is God with us. When we gather as his people, Jesus resides there among us. And don't forget this. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus wants to be with every single person. Those people that you know and love that are far from God. His heart is still open to them. His arms are always open. And the coming of Jesus on Christmas is the revelation of the presence and the love of the living God who wants to be with each one of us. So my encouragement this Christmas season is that you walk with him. You recognize his presence. Take some time and read Matthew chapter 1 and 2. That's the Christmas story in the Gospel of Matthew. And just reflect on how Jesus came among us. And then join me now and in the coming days praying for a great Christmas season. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you that you are not just God out there, but you are God in here. You are God with us. We pray together that this Christmas season we will sense your presence, feel your arms around us, and those people that we love and care about that don't know that you're near them, Draw near them and whisper to them that you are there. And let us be a testimony to your presence in our lives and your desire to be in their life as well. We pray this, Jesus, in your beautiful and glorious name, Emmanuel, God with us. Blessings. Have a great day.